Cameron Chadukin here with The Daily Developer Show, the show where we talk every single day about how you can become a better developer and how to optimize your lifestyle as a developer. I need some lifestyle optimization. Man, oh man. It's been, there's been so much pollen today. I, I can barely keep my eyes open. <laughs> I will record the rest of this video with my eyes closed. Uh, in all seriousness, what I want to talk to you about today is a concept I call go where you're treated best. And this isn't, this actually is a concept that I've kind of just intuitively thought throughout my life, but I'm not the first one to think this. There is also a guy who kind of popularized this concept. His name is, is Andrew Henderson, and I'll quick read this bio from his website. Andrew Henderson is the world's most sought-after consultant on legal, offshore tax reduction, investment immigration, and global citizenship. He works exclusively with six- and seven-figure entrepreneurs and investors who want to go where they're treated best. He has been researching and actually doing this stuff personally since 2007. So basically, if you have an online business, Andrew Henderson could help you maybe get another passport or move your business to a place where you'll pay lower taxes. That 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 could be something that's of tremendous value to you if you're living the digital nomad life, uh, successfully at least. But I also think that this concept of going where you're treated best has some value for developers as well. Now, if you've ever watched any of Dylan Israel's videos, he is a developer that is originally from Los Angeles. And he said when he was kind of trying to get his foot in the industry, he said he would apply to these jobs in Los Angeles and he would be going up against like 300 other candidates versus when he applied to some jobs in some other parts of the country, he would only be competing against five or 10 other candidates. So in this case, going where you're treated best. And in addition to that, sorry, in addition to that, he also said that the salaries in some many of the other places were higher than Los Angeles, despite the cost of living being lower. So not only were the jobs going to be easier to get, he was probably going to get treated better because he was seen as a more valuable asset because there weren't so many other people that could potentially take his place. But he's also going to save more money or live a higher quality of life because the cost of living is lower and he's making more money and taxes are also lower. So in that case, going where you're treated best as a developer would mean possibly leaving Los Angeles and going to another part of the country. Or if you're living in a place where the salaries for developers are low, maybe you try to move to another city or another country. Or if you're in a place where it's too competitive, maybe you're going to have to go to another city or another country where maybe the salaries are higher, maybe they're lower, but the point is you're going to be able to get your foot in the industry. So that could apply to cities or countries. It could also apply to the, the company you're working at, but um, uh, I'm sure you, you could probably figure that one out yourself. So this is just a quick video. I hope you got some value out of it. Please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video tomorrow.